So I just kept doing it, you know. So I started with a Chronicle, and then it was uh, Id out of Guelph, and then Echo, and then Spotlight. So um, they let me, you know, publish this stuff, and it helped give people a name, and it helped them, you know, sell their music, and it helped their peers, and so we we got this scene together, and then finally other people. Uh, started jumping on the bandwagon, you know, Jason Schneider, uh, um, I'm trying to think of who else is from alternative, uh, Nick Cruen, I guess from Guelph, uh, there are a few of us. So yeah, it, it was exciting back then, especially because editors gave us the, you know, took a chance on us, so <laughs> I can't, and I, you know, I just thought, there's no way they're going to publish this stuff. Like, it's just too outrageous, you know, but they did. So, and then it went from there, and now you see, you know, you see stuff in the, in the mainstream papers um, about, you know, uh, controversial bands, things like that, or film and things, but back then there wasn't much going on in Kitchener that I could think of, except on the university papers. But in the mainstream, nope. I think I was the first to hit the, to hit the Chronicle, so that was fun. Scary, kind of, you know, because other writers would be looking at me, what the hell are you writing about? Most people wouldn't understand, unless you were part of that group, right? Because I was a DJ at the back door, I would see these bands, or I would, I'd go out and see, like, I would go out and check live bands out all the time. Or Bayman's brought in a bunch of people, and uh, Fed Hall. And there was, like, a, a there was a collective. There was uh, Lindsey Stewart, there was Tom Greer, there was uh, Ron Roy, um, Ron Hofer, Danny Michelle, who back then was, you know, very young, but just, you know, uh, cutting his teeth before they, they uh, he was in several bands, a bunch of wimps, uh, I can't remember the other two bands, before he was in the Rhinos. So, you know, it was, it was exciting, and, and, and uh, I was also on the radio, which gave me a chance to play all this stuff, so I could follow all these bands, you know, um, get all their compilations, like, um, CKMS, which is now Sound FM, we put out a compilation called Giant Eagle Faith, which had all these bands on on one album, and it was very cool. We put out two, put on, one on one on vinyl and one on CD, and it was a great way to raise their profile as well. So I was a big part of that, and I'm always happy about that.